things if you're not a morning person and you pick an 8 a.m. math class that you know you're gonna sleep through. I also was managing seven to eight classes. I'd take really bad notes and I'd be like half falling asleep like while I was writing on the paper and take really visually appearing notes. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about how to get straight A's in hard college classes and just some general tips for success. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mira. I am a second year student at Georgia Tech and in my freshman year of college, I got straight A's and I also was managing seven to eight classes. So it was definitely a lot, especially for my first year. I am an industrial design major, meaning that Five of my courses were design classes and they were all project based so those were all stressful in their own way but this video will be mainly focused on core classes such as STEM classes that have like tests and quizzes that have kind of a more straightforward grade breakdown. If you want me to make a video on design and projects and stuff, please let me know. I can definitely make one on that but this is more focused on how to get an A in a hard like general ed class. I'm gonna be sharing actual experiences just to give some examples. So I'm gonna be talking about my integral calculus class that I took my second semester. But I wanna give a disclaimer that this is purely for educational purposes. I'm not trying to brag any shape and form, but I am gonna share some tips on how I got an A in that class. So the first tip I have for setting yourself up for success is when you register for classes. There are two main things that I think really contribute to your grade. The first is your professor. I definitely recommend looking up your professor on ratemyprofessor.com. I think a professor can greatly impact your understanding of the material. I can make a whole another video about this, but my integral calculus professor completely changed my perspective on math. I used to strongly dislike it in high school and not understand it at all and I took it in Georgia Tech and I loved it. But yeah, if you can, try and get the best rated professor possible and make sure to actually look at their views to see what people are saying. Another tip I would give if you can control is when you schedule your classes. And what I mean for that is don't pick a time of an important class that you know you're gonna slack off. So for instance, if you're not a morning person, and you pick an 8 a.m. math class that you know you're going to sleep through, it doesn't matter if it's a good teacher. I don't think it's worth it if you're not going to pay attention. Also, a lot of core classes have their testing and their recitation. So sometimes the lectures are early, but the recitations are like at 4.30 p.m. And if you're the type of person that crashes in the afternoon and needs to take a nap, I wouldn't recommend having your test that late. So definitely keep an eye out on that. Now I'm going to give some tips on what you should do on the first day of class. So in college, I think it's really important to look at your syllabus and see the grade breakdown. College is not like high school when your attendance and your classwork counts as a lot of points. It's usually heavily based on your testing. And you need to understand, of course, to get an A in the class, you need A's in almost all your grade breakdown categories. So just an example of a college class, my integral calculus class, we had three midterms. Your top two midterms were 15% each. The lowest one was 10% each. Our quizzes were weekly and they were worth 30% together. There was one that was able to be dropped and our final was worth 30%. And the quizzes were also bulked with some homework and some participation, but those were worth very little points. I also highly recommend to have a planner and that first day to go through your syllabus and write down all your midterms and tests and your quizzes in it. It's just really good to get it out of the way, especially when you don't have much to do during the first week, because it'll just be nice to have that written down so when you get to the date, you'll already have it there. If you don't like using a physical planner, at least use Google Calendar or a sticky note system or whatever works for you. But I definitely think everyone should have some sort of organization system. And then my most important tip for success is during the first two weeks, kind of go through your class and figure out a weekly routine. And what I mean by that is you usually have your homework due on a certain day, you'll have some sort of weekly quiz, and you'll have like a midterm every month or so. So you'll kind of be able to figure out 
how you can manage your time and your work every single week. I actually made a video on my study habits and how I get A's on all my college tests and I went through an actual plan of my weekly routine for my integral calculus class. So I'll put that link in the description if you want to go check that out. And then I just have some general tips for success. If you go to lecture, actually pay attention. I know so many people who went to lecture and they would be watching Netflix on their computer or they'd be texting the whole time. And I personally don't understand that because if you're going to lecture and you're not going to pay attention, you might as well just stay in your dorm room. The more attentive you are during your lecture, the less time you're going to have to spend out of class learning that material on your own and flipping through the textbook. And I think that's a really good incentive to just pay attention during class. It's usually only 50 minutes and your teacher is basically giving the material. And kind of along with that point, in lecture, there's usually some attendance or participation points. Those are basically free points. You want to get as high as you can in every grade breakdown. And when you have participation in things like homework and attendance, try to get 100% of those because those will give you more buffer room to get some points deducted in your quizzes and your midterms. Another tip I have is to take good notes. I have been in classes before where I just was not interested and I would take really bad notes and I would be like half falling asleep like while I was writing on the paper but like when you look back in your notes those notes are like practically useless you're not going to want to look back on your notes if they're really bad notes so what I started to do is like take really nice notes and take really visually appearing notes so I bought like all my Muji gel pens and I made them look really nice because when your notes look really nice, you'll actually want to go back and look at them. And I really saw an increase in like my attentiveness during class because I was like so excited to use my gel pens and like make my notes look all pretty. And that might just be a me thing, but it honestly like worked out really well for me. And along with that, before every midterm, I would make like a study review sheet. So I'd look back on that for the final and it just made everything so much easier. Another super important tip for success is to go to your professor's office hours. I went to every single one of my professor's office hours that I could. Even if I didn't have a question, I would just go there and work there because they would learn my name really fast and they would know that I was a hardworking student and I think that's super important. And I was in a lecture of like 200 people and there would be less than five people who would go to the office hours. So showing that you care is super important. And I even ended up building a really good relationship with my professor. My professor was super nice and when I was having like other health issues that I needed accommodations for, she was really supportive with that. And also my really nice notes that were taken in my calculus notebook actually got stolen by one of my classmates, which if you're watching this and you stole my notebook, um, please give it back. I would really appreciate it. But anyways, my notebook got stolen and my calculus teacher was super nice and actually scanned her notes for me. So that wouldn't have happened probably if I hadn't had that relationship and reached out to her. And my last tip is a really important one. I honestly just think you have to be really motivated and be in that mindset that you actually want to learn not just going in for the credit or the A. And I know when you have a lot of classes, especially in the beginning when they're just general ed requirements and let's say they're not for your major that you don't really care about, it's super tempting to just not pay attention in the lecture and kind of just to scrape by with your bare minimum knowledge. And I definitely can relate to that because I have taken classes that I just had no passion for. But learning is so much easier when you try to be open to it. Hello, so I was really smart and deleted the last three minutes of my video. But like I said, learning is so much easier when you just try to be open to the subject and actually try to understand the subject rather than just going through the motions. Like I said, I really learned to love integral calculus. I actually hated math in high school. I took AP Calc in my junior year with just the intentions of getting an A in the class. For my transcript to get into college and I did achieve that but I was barely scraping by. I basically just memorized formulas and I really didn't understand calculus at all but when I got to Georgia Tech I really said I'm going to really try and understand the material. I'm going to put in the effort and I really learned how to actually 
do calculus, not just memorize, but actually work through problems. And I really learned to love it. So I know passion for every subject doesn't come naturally, but I really do think if you try to get open to the subject and really learn it rather than just scraping by for the minimum grade, the class will become so much easier. So these are just some of my tips on how to get straight A's in hard college classes. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more college-related videos, and I'll see you in the next one.